Welcome. Fiskars recently renewed his complete line of axes. And when you look at the specs, they are basically pretty the same. So first it didn't look like they brought out any new X. The new lineup has a lot of improvements, but there is nothing major different. So I would say it's a good step forward, but there is no need to buy a new Fiskars. But when I looked closer, I noticed something. Fiskars brought out an X with a 60 centimeter handle, but a S sized head, so it's a smaller head than usual. And that leads to that the X has an overall weight of 1.26 kilogram. And when I saw that, I thought my wishes are heard. Unfortunately not, because they used the X head of the splitting X and not of the not the universal head. So Fiskars has two head designs. This is the universal head, and then they have a splitting X head, which goes wider than this one. Earlier they didn't really name the heads of any size, but now they introduced S, M and L. And their 60 centimeter axis always had an M head, which gave a weight overall of around 1.6 kilogram. And now I come to the point why that smaller head would have been so interested for me, and why am I begging so strongly for that kind of axe? When you are in the wilderness, you mainly cut wood with the axe. You hardly split wood. The goal is, if you have a lock, to make it shorter, so you cut it with the axe. The reason why I use an axe instead of a saw is pretty simple. The saw uses always the same muscles, so the muscles get tired very fast and the saw is slower. So the X requires much more technique, of course. You need to be able to use the X properly, but when you can, the X is faster, you can work longer and your muscles don't get so tight, because with the X you have a whole body movement. You split a little bit in the wilderness, mainly that you have some smaller wood perhaps to start the fire or when it is heavily raining you want to get at the inside wood which is dry. But still that is a small part. When you are in the wilderness and you need to carry all your stuff with you, weight matters a lot. You want to be as light and weight because it strongly impacts how much energy you need and how far you can go. For example, when I hunt in the wilderness, it makes a big difference if I have 26 or 27 kilograms with me for a long hunt. Every kilogram on top matters more and more. The difference between 26 and 27 kilograms is much bigger than between 10 and 11 kilograms. Even from the proportions, the difference from 10 to 11 is much bigger. But the reason is your body just can't carry at some point anymore. So as a basic rule, you can say one third of your body weight is the maximum you should carry. It's better to have one force. But now back to the axis. The axe you want to have in wilderness should be good usable with two hands. For a person like me, for the haste of me, the perfect length of an axe is between 55 and 65, perhaps up to 70 centimeters. To be precise, 63 to 65 centimeters is perfect to have the best ergonomic. Of course, with a longer head, with a longer handle, you get more speed on the head and the speed is very deciding for the energy you transmit. As we all know from our physics lesson, half times mass times velocity and power of two is the energy. So the longer the X handle is, the faster it gets and the more energy it has. But when the X handle gets longer, it gets more clumsy to use if you want to use the whole length. So basically there is a physical limit that you can work efficient with the X. The next thing is you want that handle which is good to use with two hands, but you want to have the head as light as possible. Because the extra weight on the head is not really a big benefit. Of course it is good when weight doesn't matter, but when weight matters, the advantage of a heavier head is not really given for carry it around. So you want an as light head as possible, with a as thin blade as possible. 
because the thinner the blade, the less friction it produces when it enters through the wood and the deeper it gets. Of course, when the head is very thin, you need to master the technique more because a thinner head is more likely to get stuck in the wood when the angle isn't correct because it doesn't produce such a high lifting force on the wood. But when you master the technique, you want a very slim head, a very slim blade. There are some limits, of course, it needs to have some certain thickness that it withstands the use, but it doesn't need to be very thick. Unfortunately, nowadays, a lot of ex producers produce pretty bulky hats because otherwise the people complain, oh, that hat broke and the metal broke, it's, it's crap. So that's why, for example, you see that with the classical line of Hulter Force, they make a thicker blade than, for example, Kranz Force. When you look for that wilderness axe with a long handle and a thin bladed head, you often end up with about 1.3 kilogram. At 1.3 kilogram, most of these manufacturers, like Grenzforce and Hulterforce and earlier Wetterlings, have an axe to offer, which has the long enough handle. If you want less weight, you most likely end up with a hatchet with a much shorter handle, which is not really good to use with two handles, uh, with two hands. <laughs> so often you stick up with 1.3 kilograms. And that's why 1.3 kilograms is for me is a limit. Not because the number is very special, but because you have a wide range of axes which is suitable. For example, I don't know if it's still in production, but Hulterforce has a H Y um, H U Hotel Yankee model number 10. This was a pretty cheap X, you got it for 40 euros earlier and the head had around one kilogram and the overall weight was about 1.3. And the X had a really nice thin blade and a good balancing. When we look a little bit more in the past, there was a manufacturer Wetterlings which got bought by Grants Force and doesn't really exist anymore. And they brought out something called the Forester X. The Forester X weighs under a kilogram, but still has a 55 or 59 centimeter handle. So you can use it very well with two hands still, but it is by far the lightweight X you can get. Only small disadvantage was the blade was not very thin. I, uh, most of the axes which were produced had a thicker blade than this one. I chose one which is, was pretty thin. Otherwise, this was my main used wilderness X in the snow-free season because there was nothing else. Hulterforce nowadays produces such a model again, but the blade head is the blade is very thick and I find it unsuitable and it's also awful balanced. And with a balance I mean when you hold it like this, the Hulterforce tips down like that. And that shouldn't be. The center of gravity from your X head should be in the middle. And that's in general, you know, it's very hard to find. Like basically, I only know Grand's Force, which really managed to balance their axes very well. When you look at the Grand's Force and I hold it flat in my hand, it doesn't tip down at all, which is pretty impressive. So, why am I looking for that Fisca so much? I said in the beginning of the video, I would like the S hat, which is that hat, together with a 60 centimeter handle. And when you look at the hat from the S hat, SX or also from the M, it doesn't matter, their shape is far away from being ideal for my use. But still, I would like to have that S hat with a 60 centimeter angle, a uh, handle. And that would be nearly the perfect wilderness X besides of the hat. And the reason is because Xs with a wooden handle have one big advantage. 
earlier or later because of the change in moisture and the use and the temperature change the hat gets loose the hat will start to wobble and if that happens it's just a very short matter of time until it breaks because as soon as the hat starts moving it produces a lot of force on the top of the hat and crushes the wood fibers there. So as soon as the head gets loose, you should immediately stop using the X and repair it or change it. That's why, for example, this one and this, which were a lot in use, both have glass fiber reinforcements. So both of the heads got loose and you can't see it anymore, but I put some additional spreading in the top and then I used that glass fiber to reinforce it. And since then, they are rock solid. Why do I do it with a glass fiber instead of changing the handle? Because the handles are fucking expensive, especially Hulter Force is crazy nowadays with their handle prices. And changing a handle takes pretty long. But that glass fiber thing goes super fast. And in my experience, it just holds, even if it is not done very nicely. So I have a little bit problem <clears throat> trusting the wooden handles because I know from the experience they always can fail. It depends on the manufacturer. Manufacturer, For example, the Hulter Force handles, they fail pretty easy. Like basically all my Hulter Force X's, uh, the handles got, uh, the X heads got loose and I needed to repair them. Um, interestingly, I don't have any Grand Force X where that happened, but I'm pretty sure it's also just a matter of time until it happens with the Grand Force X. And that's why I like the glass fiber handle. Because the glass fiber handle basically nearly nothing can happen. In winter, I try to use only glass fiber handles. Because when I chop ice, for example, to get on the water, it can always happen that the ice hits the handle. And ice is very, very hard and it will always damage the wood. And when I work with wood, I can take care that nothing hits the handle. But when I work with ice, it's pretty difficult to really make sure that no ice is hitting the handle. Now, of course, there are a lot of guys who say, oh, no, I don't take a plastic handle. Because when that plastic handle, that glass fiber handle breaks in the forest, I can't reshaft it. But when the wooden handle breaks, I just go with the hat and carve some new X handle and stick it in and it's good to go again. That sounds in theory pretty logic, but it hasn't but it doesn't have a lot to do with reality. You know, when you are in the forest and hunting or doing something, you don't want to sit where there and carve one day an X handle, basically only with your X hat or with a knife. And it's also pretty unlikely that you really make such a good X handle that it really holds the heavy use. And the other problem is like, then you first need to get that old X handle out, you need to make a fire, you need to burn it out, like it's a huge amount of work and I can't imagine myself sitting in the forest when I want to hunt and making X handles out of some wood I find somewhere. You also need to find proper wood and, and my, I think it's a the theoretical thing. Like, <clears throat> it's not really practical. And these glass fiber handles, they hardly ever fail. I mean, there are some cases where there are reports about a production mistake that they failed. But basically, when you see the tests and when you test them, you don't get them broken. I mean, you can smash the handle against the stones with full force several times. There are more than enough videos on the internet where people do that. And of course they get some markings, but still everything is intact. And especially uh, with the new design, <clears throat> they also even improved it further that the X hat can't get loose. So I use these X's in a temperature range of minus 45 to plus 30 degrees and they are always out and whatever and nothing breaks there is just no problem at all even in heavy use and abuse so for me as a 
someone who is relying strongly on the X and uses it so much, the glass fiber option is much more reliable than a wooden pen. Now, I wrote Fiskars already three years ago and asked them, hey, it would be so great if you make some kind of wilderness X for the wilderness travelers and hunters. Like an X with a proper length handle and lightweight head. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I just got a random support answer which said, oh, we have our offer here on the website and you can have a look. <laughs> you will find something. <laughs> they didn't really listen. But now when I saw that, I was really excited. And I was even shortly thinking if I should take that for me pretty stupid splitting hat in the S version and the 60 centimeter handle, but I decided, no, I don't want that splitting hat. Already that normal hat is pretty bulky. So, verdict. I really hope Fiskars brings out 60 centimeter handle with S hat and then we land somewhere at 1.2 kilograms perhaps. The S hat, the universal hat, should be also lighter than the splitting hat. So I hope we perhaps end up with 1.2 or something. And then you would have a really super reliable X in the forest and that would be so great. So, let's hope that someone from Fiskars watched that video. <laughs> and I strongly hope they produce that. <clears throat> okay. It was quite a lot in the video, a lot of different topics regarding X hats, um, X designs. I just like cut it everything very, very shortly. But that is needed to understand why I would like to have such an X. Every part of the video on its own, like every two minutes I told in this video I could stretch to talking one hour, but it would just get too long. So I hope you got my point. But if you have any questions, please write that in the comments below. And I can also make follow-up videos where I explain more about what I meant in this video. So hopefully you tune in next time again. See you soon.